Hello everybody. Today we're going to be discussing our arm position and our how to get different types of notes when our trumpet's fully assembled. Also what the numbers of our valves are and we're going to practice uh, playing a few different notes at the end. So first when we're putting our trumpet up to our lips we want to make sure that we have a nice relaxed position. We don't want our arms glued to our chest like this with our elbows in. It's going to be uncomfortable for you over time. And we don't want our elbows straight out like this. This is also going to be uncomfortable. So we want just a little bit of space between our chest and our arm. Our trumpet comes down at an angle, um, just a little bit down from straight. We don't want to go too far down. This is going to cause tension in our neck. We don't want to go too far up. This is also going to cause tension in our neck too. So we want a nice relaxed position overall. Okay, now we're going to talk about the low versus high notes. We've um, talked about our buzzing before and how to get a lower buzz versus a higher buzz, and now we're going to apply that to our trumpet here. There are two notes that you're most likely to get when you first pick up your trumpet and put on the mouthpiece and buzz into it. One of them is your lower C, and the other one is your higher G. So if you remember from our last discussion when we're playing our lower notes, our lips are going to be a little more in the kissy position. And when we are playing our higher notes, it's going to be a little more granny lips. Remember that the other ways you can also increase your ability to play both lower and higher notes is how tight your lips are and how fast your air is. For our lowest notes, we want the slowest airspeed. For our highest notes, we want the fastest airspeed. So here's our low one. And then we increase our airspeed and have more granny lips. Okay, so let's experiment and try to get both the low and the high note. Here's, and play with me as we do this. Here's your lower one, more kissy. And tighten those lips, increase the airspeed. Good. As you're experimenting with this, you may even get some um, breaking into some higher notes. may have noticed all of those notes were played with my fingers up. So there's a lot of them that you may get to as you are trying this out for the first time. If you get any high note at all right now, be proud of yourself, be happy with that. Let's do that again. So here's our higher one with our granny lips more in, increased airspeed. <laughs> And then decrease that airspeed, more kissy lips. Tighten. Loosen. Granny. And kissy. So our valve numbers here are from top to bottom or closest to you, one, two, three. One is closest to you when you're playing, two is in the middle, three is furthest away from you. When we did our lesson on oiling our valves, you probably noticed those numbers, and it's just the same. First finger, second finger, third finger. Okay, let's try now using some of our fingers while we play a note. So let's start with our low C. So this is looser, more kissy lips. And we're going to move this middle finger or finger two up and down. So this is going to get us our C and our B. <laughs> Yep, 
So do that with me. Here we go. <laughs> So that was our lower um, notes. Now let's try our upper one. So we're going to have more granny lips. We're going to increase our air speed. And um, yeah, here we go. Let's try that again. So faster air, tighter lips, more in the granny position. Good. So now we've practiced our G to our F sharp higher and our C to our B lower. Next thing we're going to do is switch to the first finger now. So instead of using our second finger, we're going to go from open or none of the fingers down to just the first finger down. First, let's just practice that together, moving our finger and pressing down that valve. Yep, that's the movement that we want for this exercise. So now we're going to go down to our C, so more kissy lips, and we're going to move that finger up and down as we play into our instrument. As we're playing and we go a little bit lower, we're going to loosen up just a little bit to make sure that note speaks as clearly as it can. Okay, now we're going to go up to our G, so we're going to increase that airspeed, we're going to have more of a granny mouth, and make sure that it's a little bit tighter there. <laughs> Let's do that again. Good. Okay, so now we've practiced a couple of the notes that are close to our open notes. And now I want to teach you the sequence of fingerings that you use on the trumpet. So after we're done here, that will be all of the fingerings on the trumpet. If you've learned this pattern, you've learned all of the fingerings that you need to know. So first we're going to start with our open. Maybe if I turn it around this way, it'll be a little easier to see. So we're going to start open and second finger goes down next. So second finger first finger, then to one and two, two and three, one and three, with our third valve slide out. You can see that I moved this finger out just a little bit. You can see that that's been pushed out. Whenever we use the one and three fingering, we want to make sure we use this. This is to help the note be in tune. And then one, two, and three also has this position out. So let's go back to the beginning. Open, second finger, first finger, one and two, two and three, one and three with that third valve slide out, one, two, and three with it still out. Okay, let's do that again. Open, second, first, first and second, second and third, first and third, with that third valve slide out, one, two, and three. 
that pattern is going to come in handy because now that you've learned those fingerings, that's all the notes on a trumpet. Now we'll just learn, need to learn where those notes appear on the staff, and we'll do that in another lesson. Let me play for you what that will sound like if you're actually putting air into the instrument. So I'm going to start on my G. <laughs> So those are all the notes between our G and our C that we've learned. Before I go on, I want to make sure that um, we're all keeping our cheeks in as we play. We don't want puffy cheeks. No puffy cheeks when you play. Um, if we've got puffy cheeks, we run the risk of stretching them out because um, this is a higher resistance instrument. So higher instruments like the trumpet, clarinet, saxophone are all higher resistance instruments. If we puff our cheeks out over time, we're going to stretch them out and it will look goofy. So we're, we're going to make sure that we don't do that. And um, let's try this together. If you don't succeed at getting all of the notes, that's OK for right now. Keep practicing until you become successful. As we go down from our G to our C, we're going to go from more granny lips to more puckered lips. And we're also going to be relaxing our airspeed. <laughs> Good. This can also be done on our low C. We're going to use that same fingering progression. So second, first, first and second, second and third, one and third with third valve slide, and one, two and three with third valve slide. It will just be a lot lower and we will definitely need relaxed air and very puckered lips as we go down. <laughs> I forgot to put my third valve slide out on the end, so let's try that together. Here's our open C. Then put your second valve down. First valve down. One and two. Two and three. One and three. With third valve slide out and one, two, and three. So that's all the way down from our F to our C and then our G to our, um, or our C down to our Uh, I'm losing that note right now, but to our low note on the trumpet. I hope this uh, video tutorial has been helpful. And if you have questions, make sure and let me know. And I will see you next time. Bye.